warm, warm welcome to none other than Evelyn Lozada. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Green. And it's actually VH1. <laughs> <laughs> now you know I don't watch. I'm actually glad you don't watch it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How Hi. are you? Okay, go. I'm going to read this and I'm going to jump back and forth because that's just how I do. Buenas tardes a todos. Estoy emocionada de estar aquí hoy. I'm going to read Spanish English because if I read it to you in Spanish, we would be here for like three hours. <laughs> My name okay. is Evelyn Lozada and let me start by saying this. When do you stop ignoring a push followed by a shove? When do you stop normalizing verbal and physical aggression? Six years ago, I stopped ignoring all of this and made up my mind that love should never hurt. Not like this. What happened to Gladys Reichardt on this day in 99 was horrendous and it still goes on. For people who don't know my story, I got married in 2012. Three weeks later, I was in the hospital with six stitches to my forehead. And 43 days, 43 days later, I was divorced. <laughs> I, it was definitely a very, very difficult time for me. I, sorry, but for those who know me, know I'm a crybaby. It's okay, we're okay. with you, we're with you. Cry with you, Evelyn. We'll cry with you, Evelyn, cry on the line. When this happened to me, the first thought in my mind was my daughter and my niece who's here today. I, I know that my daughter looks up to me I know that my nieces look up to me and I said to myself, I'm not going to stay with this person. Like what, am I, what example am I setting? Not only to my daughter at the time, I want to say kids because I now have two, but what example am I setting for her? You know, I would be devastated if anyone treated my daughter the way that I was treated. And trust me, I'm raising my son to be the most amazing man in the world because he would never do that to yes. any woman. Yes. Okay? Turning away from an abusive relationship wasn't easy, but it was very necessary for me. My experience has taught me that over time, matters of the heart can be healed and self-confidence and worth can be restored. Domestic violence victims have to know that they can be survivors. It's at the, it's, with the spirit of personal healing and turning her into joy that I formed the Evelyn Rosada Foundation. And we will be giving people a chance to win an original Inez de Santo wedding gown, the wedding gown that I wore on my wedding day that is beautiful. And I blessed it for any of those that are like worried about Juju or anything. <laughs> um, I wore this dress as I prepared to enter one of the most sacred and memorable unions of my life. Although all did not end well for me, it doesn't mean that her couldn't be turned into joy. The online campaign is my testament that a negative can be transformed into a positive. All proceeds from the campaign will benefit two amazing nonprofits, the Domestic Violence Intervention Program, which is VIPMujeres.org, and the Saudi UTA, I, I hope I'm not coming back because I've been Saudi Yeti, right? I'm sorry. I kept saying it to myself in the hotel last night. I'm like, girl, get this right, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, the works of both organizations complement the other and provide the necessary support for domestic violence survivors to land on their feet. I was fortunate enough to get up to get the hell up and move across the country because financially things were okay for me. I know that a lot of Victims are not, I mean, I know a lot of domestic violence survivors are not so lucky or fortunate, so that's why I wanted to do this. It is important for us to financially support community nonprofits like these so that they can continue to provide much needed services for the people. The campaign will go live October 2nd through October 31st on the VIPMujeres.org website. The winner will be chosen and announced via Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, because you know I love my social media. <laughs> Uh, in mid-November. We also have some really cool additional surprises planned for the winner. Thank you to Cecilia Gaston, Executive Director of the Violence Intervention Program, and Zainib. Zainab. 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 Okay. 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 Executive, I'm sorry, Executive Director at the Okay, thank you for all the work that you do. Oraciones a nuestras hermanos en Puerto Rico y por todo el Caribe afectado por los huracanes Irma y María. Prayers to our sisters and brothers 
in Puerto Rico and all over the Car Caribbean affected by Hurricane Irma and Maria. I love you guys, I'm from the Bronx. Yes. And I'm so happy yes. to be able to you know, start my foundation here. Um, I was born and raised here and um, we don't give up. You know, we just, we don't give up and we're strong Latinas and we're gonna fight this. Okay, good, good, good.